Hello guys, in this video, we're going to learn about a very important and useful concept of the Python programming language, which is decorators. So first of all, let's take a look at a simple definition of what decorators actually are. So a decorator is nothing but a function which takes another function as input. Okay. And what will it do by taking that function as input? Well, it will simply extend the behavior of your input function without explicitly modifying it. By explicitly modifying, we mean that um, no single line of code of your input function will be changed. But still, when you will be calling your function, some extra things will be happening. Okay, so that is the main concept of decorators. And let's try to understand decorators by taking some practical example. So let's assume that you have a blogging website and there you have some authorized users. So you store the data of those authorized users, something like this. You have the username of the user and the password. Okay, so I know that nobody will be stored it like that. But just for simplicity, we are trying to uh, assume that, yeah, your blogging website has some authorized users and their data is stored in a dictionary like this. Okay, so now um, you need a basic functionality in your website, which is to get the blocks. Okay, and you want your this you want this function to be protected by protected i mean that you want to um you want only authorized users to be able to get the blocks so if you have written a function called get blocks and you want authorization you will be taking the username and password from the user and you'll be checking if that user is authorized or not before giving them the real stuff which is the blocks here right so first of all you'll be checking if username is present in your authorized users keys the keys of that dictionary and if that is the thing um, if the username is present in those keys then in that case you will have to check if the password is correct or not so you'll be checking the value of that um, username key in your dictionary so you will just passing username here so if both these conditions are correct only then you want to return the blocks otherwise you will be simply returning a message which is that you are not authorized okay so this is my simple get blocks function let's try it get blocks let's say it's nikhil but with the wrong password i get not authorized correct password I get blocks right so this is how my get blocks function is working right now and now um, let's assume that you have one more functionality of showing all the comments which have been um, posted on your blog so for that you are asked to write a get comments function and again you want it to be um, available only to the authorized users so now what you do is you put your username password as input here and then again all you will be doing will be just copy pasting this stuff here right and just removing this part and you will be returning um, the comments that is the only difference right so now um, let's try to understand that um, we are just trying to repeat our code here because anytime I'll be asked to write a new function which will be available only to the authorized users I'll be just copying this logic again and again yeah but that's uh, a lot of typing you can say because you're just writing the same logic again and again which is not correct you need to be uh, concise right so for dealing with this i think we can use decorators here how because we have just understood the definition of the decorators a decorator is a function which will be taking another function like the get blocks or the get comments function as input it will be providing some extended behavior like this authentication part to your function without explicitly modifying it which means that the main behavior or the main function of your input function will not be changing right so that is the thing so let's just try to um, understand how this can be done so let's say I write a function called authorized okay which takes another function as input so let's say it will be taking a bare function get comments as input like this right so this is my get comments function and now I want to provide some extra behavior to my get comments function. So how can I do that? So basically I have to return a new function as output when my authorized function is called and that new function will be having some extended behavior, right? So that extended behavior function, I call that a wrapper. So I just define a wrapper 
and that will be also taking the username and password as input just like the signature of my input function and then what will I be doing I'll be just doing this stuff again right but the only difference is that the function is now variable so now I can just put here func which was being passed to my authorized function already so return func with username and the password that's it and finally I'll be returning this function return wrapper uh, notice that I'm just returning the function not I'm not calling the function here okay so a function object will be returned here so that's it and now let's try um, this authorized and passing the get comments function inside it let's see what we are getting in return we're getting a function as output whose name is actually you can say wrapper or you can say that it's an instance of this wrapper function and this function takes username and password as input right so now you can just understand that yeah when I will be calling this function actually this stuff will be happening in which first of all the authentication part will be done and after that my actual function which is get comments will be running right so that is the thing um, let's try to run it now uh, let me call my new function as authorized get comments let's say this is my function and now let me call it um, Nikhil with wrong password I get not authorized correct password I get comments right so look at that my function looks quite concise it is just doing what is it uh, what it is intended to do but still it is doing that authorization stuff and all that is because I have wrapped it inside a inside another function okay that is the thing and we call this thing the uh, wrapping of a function inside another function to extend its behavior as decorators okay uh, but still uh, I don't think that you would like to write this thing again and again like wrapping this again and again uh, we have a very sweet syntax um, for doing this uh, for defining the decorators for our given function and that is called pi syntax in which all you have to do is put an at the rate symbol and then just write the name of the function which you want to wrap this input function with so that is what I'm gonna do here authorized that's it and now let's try to run our get comments function only so I'm now just calling get comments function but since I have already defined that it will be wrapped by authorized function it will be um, doing that stuff as well so if I get wrong password not authorized and correct password comments right so look at that how sweet it is looking right now you have a simple get comments function you have a authorization logic and you just wrapped your get comment function with that by defining that that you are using a decorator here for this function and now you are just simply calling get comments right and it is already authorized without uh, specifying that explicitly in the function itself right and now I can do the same thing for my um, blocks function as well return um, blocks right so let me just uh, define a decorator for this function which is again authorized right and now if I just try to run get blocks I get blocks wrong password not authorized right so this is how you can use the decorators for extending the behavior of any given function and this was a quite practical example where you saw that why we may need it right so this was my first video on decorators I'll be posting a few more with some more concepts and um, if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching